we'll see you then. It's like a business, but we have a great friendship. Uh, I think that's part of the success really is actually understanding each other more than just actually getting on the floor and dancing. There's got to be a synergy, is that Absolutely. what you're saying? Absolutely. Mm. It's a 100% connection within each other's minds more than actually on the floor before well, you start. Well, you put in so much time into this. Let's talk about the money. What, what is it like financially? Is it really rewarding? Is it, is it worth it? At the end of the day, once you become successful, it is very good for you. Um, the idea really is to be able to concentrate more on your own dancing while you're competing rather than trying to be financially well off. But it's not like anything like golf or tennis, is it? It's not quite in that league yet. Um, they're heading in that direction, obviously. Um, it, we do great. We know we're very happy with our situation, but we're trying more to focus on our own performance and improve the quality of our dancing rather than financial aspects, which will come later. Mm. Now, dance sport is the third most popular sport in the country besides soccer and boxing. I think that's phenomenal. I mean, how do you know that? Well, it's based more on the amount of people who actually dance rather than the popularity outside the sport. So. We were quite surprised at the figure, actually. But um, I think dancing is something that everybody likes to do. I mean, people kind of finding it difficult to accept as a sport at the moment because they haven't been exposed to it enough. Mm. But I think as people get exposed to the idea of dancing and they see how much we actually do within the training side of it, they'll see that uh, rugby players, soccer players, we do just as much as they do, really. But not everybody can dance. I mean, I've tried. Forum dancing, I, d I can't do it. Can you do it for you? I danced when I was that young. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I gave it up after a while. Yeah. What, what qualities do, do dancers have, Beat? I mean, uh, what qualities do you have? Well, I think it, it's a combination of many qualities. So obviously, most of the dancers are very talented, especially in South Africa. It's amazing how talented are little kids. So if you continue and if you have if you're dedicated and you just work hard, you don't have to be always talented. You just work hard. And, and I end. bet you most of those really good dancers are black people because white people just can't dance. Maybe, I mean, it's a yes. fact. We just cannot dance. We just don't have the rhythm. <laughs> well, I think, yeah. Um, in South Africa at the moment, there's such a combination. I think mm -hmm. the white and black, it's quite amazing. There's, I mean, there's different qualities in each person. I think some people are very rhythmical, others are very, you know, technical. I think people are different. And I think at the end of the day, it's your overall product that people really enjoy to watch. And it's not always the most rhythmical couple or the most technical couple to become a success. I think it's a combination mm -hmm. of all the things. And being unique is, plays a big part in it. And I think that's helped us quite a lot in that we have a different style from any other couple in the world. And that's... You guys have oh. been at it for about five years as a partnership, yeah. but of course you've been dancing since you were young. Right. I mean, how much longer can you stay at this, at the top, with its re the rigorous schedule that you have to go through? Well. Ironically enough, the former 14 times professional world champions are in their 40s. Um, so it's not only about an age thing. I think it's at this age now where it starts maturing. The quality starts to mature. Um, and then you move on to different things. There's a lot of show work and stuff like that as well. And fitness? Do you have to be physically fit? I mean, you Super go to gyms. Fit, yeah. We dance a competition in England called the British Open, and there's seven rounds, and each round consists of five dances. So you're doing approximately 35 dances at two minutes a dance. So at the end of the evening, if you're not super fit, there's no way you'll maintain a great stamina in that final. So we try to make sure that we have stamina in our daily activity. Well, thank you very much to Michael and Bianca. Thank, uh, thank you. Good luck very much to both of you in thank your you future much. endeavors. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Rural Sabisa in northern KwaZulu-Natal has been in the...